Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Rika Dorrance. I'm going to show you guys how I blow dry my hair extremely straight um, to basically lessen the time of you straightening your hair and have really sleek straight hair that will last you a long time. So the first thing you want to do is start off with using a hair mask to really help prevent your hair from getting damaged in the process and keep it moisturized and not dry. So to do that, I use a Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask and I go ahead and apply this all over the hair on every single strand. So you're just going see me speed up the video real quick and section my hair out just to make sure that I'm really getting every single pieces piece of my hair coated with the product then once I finish applying the product I'm gonna go on with my Denman brush just to make sure it's evenly spread out so I'm just going to do the same thing all over. So to intensify the hair mask even more, I'm going to put a shower cap on my head for about 30 to 45 minutes. In this situation, I didn't have a shower cap, so I'm just going to use a um, saran wrap, which works just as great. I actually think saran wrap works even better because it's like tightly put onto your hair. It just takes a really long time to put on. But once you got your hair on a shower cap, saran wrap, either or I'm gonna put a scarf on top of it and that's just gonna help you know make it heat up more faster and produce more heat in the hair also you don't have to put the bonnet and the towel in any particular order you just want to produce more heat and help um, stimulate your hair follicles more to really absorb the hair product so this is my hair after I rinsed it out at this time this is when I'm going to part my hair and take my Zen Men brush and just go ahead and brush through my hair and as you can see here I'm just going to go ahead and pre part my hair just so it makes it easier while I blow dry my hair I'm using out using the blowout ion hair cream this is a must-have this smells amazing and it works amazing it's, this is the first time I use the product and it really gets your hair bone straight or as straight as possible minimizing frizz so that's the only product that I'm applying on my hair so I'm just gonna take a bristle brush and I use the blow dryer on medium to high heat um, and I just go through each section making sure that I straighten it uh, blow dry it straight as much as possible also, I forgot to mention that the I Am Blowout Cream, it is a heat protector as well. So it doesn't just also minimize frizz, but it also protects your hair from heat damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process, putting the hair cream on each section at a time, and then blow dry the hair as straight as possible. Okay guys, so this is my blowout results. This is as, as straight as I can possibly get it while I blow dry it. So now I'm going to move on to the flat ironing part. So once again, I'm going to pre-part my sections as you see me doing here. So before I flat iron my hair, I'm going to go in with the Garnier Futis heat protector just for extra hair protection and then I'm using a Chi flat iron and then I'm going to take very small sections using a rat tail comb. I am going to straighten each piece about twice. I go down really slow the first time and then I go a little bit faster the second time. And the temperature for this flat iron doesn't have a adjustable temperature, which isn't really that good because I don't really know how hot the flat iron is. It's just one um, temperature. So I just repeat this process everywhere through. Um, it does take patience. I really do take my time. I don't do big sections because the bigger the section is, I feel like the more I have to go flat iron through it again. So another helpful tip you can do is when you use a rat tail comb, well two tips, is one to not put the rat tail comb directly against the flat iron. As you can see I'm not doing that because it will melt the comb. And two, after I flat iron it once, I use my rat tail comb as like a way to pick up the hair so I don't have to touch it with my own hands. Because I know obviously if you straighten it it's going to be really hot and I sometimes burn my own hands. So I always use just the rat tail comb. I don't really go through try to touch each piece. But after I take down the second section, 
I repeat the process. I spray each section. I don't spray my whole head and then just go through and flat iron it because I don't want to miss any sections or um, not put any heat protector on it. So I really just do each section, brush it through, and then put the heat protector on. And you could use the Ion Blowout Cream that I was using earlier. That one was, um, like I mentioned earlier, does have a heat protector in it. But just to be safe, since I already blow dried my hair, I don't know if the heat protector is still intact. So I just go ahead and use another heat protector. Now at this point I'm just going to show you the end result since obviously I'm just repeating the process over and over again and I think you guys got a hang of it so here is the final results after I flat ironed everything and I have a few additional steps that I do um, it's totally optional but usually after I flat iron my hair I get a little bit of frizz at the very top of my head just little like I guess static or pieces of hair sticking up so just to help with that I just put a little bit of this uh, curl paste and I just put that right on the top of my head and it really helps to keep like the static pieces down. So I do that and then also if you want to you can use a little bit of serum in the hair just to keep your hair looking nice and silky and shiny. And for that I use the Suave Moroccan Serum Oil. And for that all you really need is one pump. One pump should be way more than enough for the whole hair only because when you straighten your hair you don't want to weigh your hair down with oils and I just don't like the look of the hair to be oily. I want it to be very movable. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys all so much for watching.